What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is obviously a what's in my gym bag video if you couldn't tell from the title. A few of you requested this video when I mentioned maybe doing one in one of my most recent vlogs. So I'm doing that for you guys today. My hair is doing just like gross air dry things but I did play around with some makeup today. If any of you are wondering what lip color this is, this is Kat Von D Lovecraft. Whenever I wear this lipstick, I'm always asked about it. So Kat Von D Lovecraft, it's like heaven sent. Moving on, let's get into the bag. Oh my gosh, it's kind of heavy. This is my gym bag. I got this at Sports Authority, I want to say like three years ago. Uh, it's a Nike bag. It's just gray. I love gray, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> and it has some fun green going on. Let's go with the water bottle first. This is a 40 ounce water bottle by uh, Pogo. I got this at Target. Pretty cheap. I like it because it has a small mouth uh, spout. But it still closes so it's still proof. Um, I've had a few that I've gotten like that kind of look like this, but the mouth spout, that's what we're going to call it, is like huge. And so you're on the treadmill and then you're literally just like pouring water down your body like flash dance. The cool thing about this bag is it has the side pocket for your water bottle and then it has a side pocket for whatever other things you want to put in there. I used to utilize this pocket um, when I would put my gym shoes in there like if I was coming from work or something, but since my work is now personal training, I basically just live in my gym clothes. The first thing I have is dry shampoo. I can't swear by this enough after like a sweaty gym session. I don't wash my hair a lot because I like to just keep it color happy and um, my hair really doesn't need to be washed that much because it does not get oily. But if it's like sweaty, I'll put some dry shampoo in. This is a light blonde from my previous hair color, so I do need to get like a dark red or just a non-colored one. I have baby wipes. I don't like to take showers in gyms necessarily. I would just rather shower at home. So these are good if you're just sweaty and you just kind of want to wipe down. I use these. This is one I get asked on a lot. This is my Polar Heart Rate Monitor watch. I believe this is the FT60 and it does connect to the heart rate monitor, which you have to wear. I feel like I always answer this question. This is the heart rate monitor which you strap right under here, underneath all your clothes. I just tuck it into like my sports bra so it's comfortable and doesn't really move. This just tracks your heart rate and your calories being burned and your time of your workout, um, your highest intensity, lowest intensity. Polar has a ton of models. I haven't really delved into all of the options on this one. I know that it's like... It has training programs and apps on this, but I'm kind of just like a straightforward kind of girl when it comes to technology. Next, I have my flip belt, which I have been wearing religiously. This thing is awesome. I just obviously put it around my waist and slide it on. Um, it can hold your keys. I don't use it for that, but like that would be just too heavy. But if you have just like a key for a lock or something, it would be perfect to just hook on there. Um, for your gym locker and then it has several little um, pockets that you can shove things in. It holds my phone, it holds credit cards, it holds a lot of stuff and it comes in so much handy. So much handy? That sounds really weird but it really does come in handy because my phone just goes in there and I can do whatever the heck I want to because my phone has all my music on it. I have a measuring tape. I don't really do measurements. I'm very lazy. I should rely on these rather than the scale. I need to use it more. And then I have my headphones. These are just Sony and they have like the smushy earbuds because if I wear like 
Apple headphones, like the hard ones, they just fall right out and they're painful. So I use these and then I use a jumbo paper clip to keep them from getting tangled. I know there are inventions for keeping your headphones untangled, but this is my current thing. I also have a master lock for my gym locker. Uh, yeah, it's just the combination one. You could get the key one. I would just rather not carry a key around. Then I have my gloves that I just got. Where is the other one? I just got these from Sports Authority. I don't know who these are by. I know there's like a V logo on it, so if that helps you. <laughs> these are size small. They have Velcro straps. They're fingerless. I just wanted something to help um, me grip the bar better and prevent these calluses and blisters from opening up. Uh, these are great because they are leather, which really helps you grip onto things. I really, really, really like them, and I've been wearing them all the time since I've gotten them. We have my Cellucor C4 in Berry Bomb. This is my favorite flavor. Everyone has all these like crazy, yummy favorite flavors from Cellucor, and for some reason, Berry Bomb has just become my newest favorite. This is great for a pre-workout. It just gives you energy. It just gives you focus. It just gets you pumped and it's awesome. Next I have my Alpha Amino. Also I sell you Core. This is a great flavor. It's basically like Kool-Aid. It's awesome for recovery and endurance. I usually take it um, halfway through my workout. That's how it works for me. Everybody has there are different methods. If you are looking for an Alpha Amino, I do love this one and the grape flavor is so good. I think that's all I have in my gym bag. I am looking through here right now, but I don't see anything else. These are like my necessities, my go-tos, what I need every day in the gym is in this bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this what's in my gym bag video and I will see you next time. Bye.